These things are known, they're kind of notorious for rusting right here in this panel. And they get mice in there too. Yeah, you can get, hey, f off, that was in the back. <laughs> that, was, that was one of the rails. Yeah, mine had mice living in it that died on the drive home, and then we had to mummify them with some great stuff foam. No, you had to enclose the tomb. Yeah, we had to shut off the tomb because the fucking spirits were coming out every time I stepped on the gas. It was, it was horrible, dude. That smell was amazing for weeks. Welcome back to Collector Car Feed. Today's a special one. We're checking out the Toyota SW20 MR2 Turbo, a car both Netgear and I have owned in the past. Collector Car Feed was actually created for the sole purpose of finding an MR2 Turbo for myself several years ago, and it worked. The market has changed quite a bit since then. Let's check it out. You wanna look at some SW20s? Let's look at some MR2s. 91 to 95 Toyota MR2 Turbo, US market. Came with a 3S GTE, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive. You already know what it is. You already f***ing know what an MR2 Turbo is. We don't need to explain it to you. Let's just look at them. Neckier and I have both owned them. This one's $45,000. Jesus. <laughs> this must be at uh, Japanese Classics or something, right? 69,000 miles. It's a 94, so it's the, the rarer. It's the Koki. 94 and 95 are like the peak years. Those are the hype years. Yeah, I believe 93 to 95 have the 15-inch wheels and the change suspension parts or whatever that's supposed to reduce snap over steer. Yeah, 93 had the updated suspension but didn't have the... The tails. Updated the tails, yeah. Yeah, 94, 95 get the badass Koki tails and the um, also the GT wing, I think, on the US yeah. ones. Yeah. Same engine on every single US market one. They're all second gen 3S GTEs. But yeah, man, this looks like a exceptional... 69,000 mile MR2 turbo. I, I find it hard to believe that they're... Oh, unfortunate interior. Yeah, it's got the tan interior. That's kind of whack, but 45 grand is... It's a lot of money for an MR2 turbo that could buy you a lot of anything else. But it is a really yeah. low mileage MR2 turbo. And, and the, the 94s, 95s are like crazy low production numbers. Yeah, practically like, don't exist. Yeah, like I want to say it's like... It's in the uh, low like thousands, two, like... One or two thousand, you know, for each year, something like yeah. that. They only made like something like 20, 25,000 SW20s in total. So those 94, 95s are going to be extremely rare. This is nice, but yeah. the, the money is wow. The KYS collection is available now on collectorcarfeed.com slash store. Here's a 91 MR2 Turbo Coupe, 5,500 bucks a day ago in Spartanburg, South Carolina, 145,000 miles, five speed with tops. The car has been sitting for several years, doesn't run, has an LSD tranny in it. Good project car. $5,500, dumbass body kit, enormous ASW Ugly wheels. wheels. Hideous. Ugh. Oh my God. And, and also it is a sitting project. What's sitting back here? What's good? Is that an S14? I think it is. And then there's another S14. No, this is something else. No, I think it's a T Integra. Yeah, you're right. Got that line right there. Ew, dude. Ew. It's got the, the bass boat interior. It's got what like the the, uh, the 90s yeah. speedboat interior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and even the even the steering wheel. Yeah, Grant GT. That shift knob looks like a dildo. It looks like a vibrator. This is um pretty gross, man. And there's that Integra. It's bad. There's a pig nose next to it. Yeah, this is an interesting yard, I will say. Cool yard. Very cool yard. But no, dude, you're not getting 5,500 dollars for that piece of shit. That's a heap. Here is a 92 MR2 Turbo two-door. I'm going to stop reading the whole thing. It's a 92 MR2 Turbo. Here's 16.5, two days ago in Riverview, Florida, 80,000 miles. Full description in the photos as there is a ton of stuff. This is your opportunity to own a beautiful Turbo MR2. Cash sale only, no trades. PM me with any other questions. Thank you. 84,000 real miles on it the fuck is you liz 16 5 80 000, original real miles the paint shot yeah look myrtle Zing is this car in the uk and like the plates look uk the shit around looks like uk but it says riverview yeah. florida like there's something sus here there's a mark IV supra sitting next to it with like the euro lights on it actually and like some weird what is that in the back and there's some tiny weird midget car in the yeah. front yeah this is absolutely not in the united states but it is you Les free. So that and must look, be some sort said, of like And he UK says he ship. has a fresh Mott, which is Ministry of Transportation, which is a f***ing Euro thing. Suspect as f 
91 MR2 Turbo Coupe with the blue interior, with the blue gut, 109,000 miles manual transmission, quick ownership background of the car. The owner was an Arkansas neighbor of mine named Jim. Jim was 43 when he bought the car in 91, driving nearly exclusively for cross-country travel with his wife. The vast That's majority based. of these trips and miles were done in the early 90s. That's actually kind of similar to the story of mine. I bought it from a like 85-year-old man who lived in Arkansas. Jim was a retired mechanic and meticulously maintained and cared for this MR2 himself. He held on to the car and its memories despite rarely driving it in his older years, keeping it under a cloth cover in his garage. When his health significantly declined, he decided to part ways with it. I purchased it in, from Jim in 2019 as a 40th birthday present to myself. I had owned two MR2 turbos in my teenage years. It has an exhaust manifold leak, and the tack doesn't work, which uh, he says is a capacitor replacement. I actually did that on mine. He wants $23,000 for this car with 109,000 miles. Go back go back down to the bottom, and it said the ugly. The glove compartment door has, has scuffs and scratch marks on it. It's missing floor mats and could use a polish. There are really only a couple minor PDR-level dings in the original factory paint. It looks pretty clean to me. Yeah, you'll be hard pressed to find a nicer one, but steep. If you want twenty three thousand, man, you you need to take the car to bat and and let the car do the talking. Yeah, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get it on Facebook. Yeah, and also it needs to not have a blue interior. Yeah, I'll take an MR2 blue gut, man. If it's that nice, it is very clean, and that's something that we're gonna notice about these is that. They're either going to be it's one end or the other, yeah. You know, it's going to be the the far ends of the spectrum, and it's going to be stories like this where an old man owned it and died, or some reach bought it in the mid two thousands and ruined it. And and that's the thing about the SW twenty MR two. This was a car that I I don't think there'll ever be a car like this again that a normal man can buy it, and it's and it's such a an interesting exotic esque car. Yeah. That you know that this a mechan- an old man mechanic bought it and maintained it his whole life and loved it. What other mid-engine turbo car is there even today? You know, you can get the Corvette, but the Corvette's yeah, fucking unobtainium. Yeah, the new Corvette's like the only. Yeah. yeah. You want to pay like $80,000, you can buy the brand new Corvette. Other than that, I don't know of any mid-engine vehicles that are currently available. Yeah, nothing, dude. Like this was, it was really like an amazing fucking car for the time. And and yeah. still today. I had a ZZW30 and I found it to be more enjoyable to drive. But this thing was a lot of fun to drive. I mean, it's it's hard to describe exactly how awesome this car is to drive. Like the engine screaming behind you is just such a unique thing that you can't find in anything else, especially like in the price range these really sell at, which is like the teens. I'm trying to think of other mid-engine cars that you could buy. Like you could buy like a Lotus Elise, a ZZW30. Yeah, Fiero. They're all going to be... A Fiero. But then but then you have a Fiero. You know, that's the con. Yeah, it's a massive con. You buy like a Porsche 914. Devot says on YouTube, Lotus Lease, but that is way more expensive. And yeah, I, I, it sucks. You know, I really want an Elise or an Exige, but you know. They've gone the, back up. The windows, the, win, the window opened and shut very quickly on that. You know, like I would really. If you to buy an Elise at the bottom, it was like five, ten years ago. Yeah, I could probably buy an Elise, but I'd have to give up the Sylvia. Or, or the 240, and that's not something I'm willing to do. Because the Elise is, I can't take the family out to get ice cream in it, you know? Well, you couldn't have an MR2 Turbo either. For what yeah, it's and, and that and that's why I sold my MR2 Turbo is because I couldn't take everyone out in it. It was basically, it was just me when I I would just take it and, and just shit on every single f-ing car that would race me on the street. Like, I, I was a fucking menace in that car, dude. All I would do was race every motherfucker that would, that would try to race me. Yeah. And just destroy them. Because it had, it was like 360 wheel horse. Like that motherfucking car moved. Mine was bone stock, but it still made me a complete asshole constantly. Just because I wanted to hear it spool up, you know? It's just, it's a great noise. And that's really what drove me to drive it fast constantly. It was just, I need to hear the turbo go again. I need to drive another 50 miles. I need to go on like another trip somewhere because I want to just keep listening to this thing and some super Euro beat at a low yeah. volume so I can still hear the engine. You want to talk some shit? Discord.gg slash feed. Start some shit, bitch. I did think of some other mid-engine cars you can buy, like a Porsche. You could buy a Boxster, you could buy a Cayman. Those are mid-engine cars and those are reasonably priced. Those but, are probably the most reasonably priced cars but, you can buy that's mid aside the from the difference, MR2s. Though, is that the MR2 was what every man could buy it new. Mm-hmm. Every man can't buy a Cayman new. No, but you could buy a 987. I mean, you could buy a Cayman. You could buy a Cayman for under 20 for sure. You buy for less than this thing uh, with lower mileage probably. But 
It's not going to be as cool as this. It, I got to say, this is cooler than a 987 Cayman. Yeah. This one's sold for 6,500 bucks, oh, 60,000 miles. Oh, GT4 in the back. Oh, sheesh, dude. This guy's this guy knows what's up. This guy's living life. Gen 4 3S GTE E153 transmission is the entire description sold. 6, I think it was 500? Like, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here, but even with a salvage title, I'll take this for 6,500 bucks, especially a slick top. Yeah. Doesn't have stupid T tops. Hell yeah, dude. Give me yeah, that. Yeah, the, the hard tops are are rare, especially yeah, super in rare. turbo. Well, this one's swapped. It's got a, a Gen 4. Oh, this, this one probably yeah, started that, life as an NA. Yeah, they're still they're still even rare. Still, they're dude. still rare. Fuck it. Yeah. And the paint's messed up on it, but I mean the price is what's talking here. This thing had a Gen 4 3S GTE and a hard top and it sold for sixty five hundred dollars. And there's no it's no surprise that it's gone in three days. Yeah. Right, Mike thing with an mr2 while you're getting an exotic engine layout you're still getting a decently reliable car since it's toyota at the end of the day uh yeah i'd agree with that uh mine leaked oil like a motherfucker and i um it leaked oil when i bought it but only just only just and so i went and i had the um the timing belt done on it and i thought it was leaking out of like the front side of the engine that the timing belt was on so i had all the gaskets changed out too and i got it back and it kept the driveway completely dry for about a week or two and then the leak came back and i drove it that way until it died because i just i didn't feel like fucking with it it was easier to just add a little bit of oil to it every once in a while than than to ever be bothered to fix it but it was a really reliable car like it didn't really give me any electrical issues or anything like that the zzw30 was so much better in a lot of ways but it just it wasn't quite as cool of a car so we got a sold 91 MR2 Turbo Coupe for $5,000 three days ago in Portsmouth, Virginia with 177K. This is a project car and not operable. Car will need to be towed or hauled. My son bought this as a project car and purchased many new parts and or OEM used parts. All are included in the sale of the vehicle. He also has box with the OEM turbo. Car has newer aftermarket turbo on it. Yada, 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 etc., etc. Scammers, go away. I am not going to give you my cell number and no electronic payments, cash only. Why wouldn't you give someone your cell number? Yeah. Like, hey, I'd like to to come take a look at it. You know, I'll call you when I'm close. Like, what the fuck? Get some um, some lit ad vans. Those look really weird, dude. Like, why? I've never seen it where, like... You How can't, do you access you can't the... get to the nut? Like, what? Yeah, that is a bizarre looking wheel. Well, he, he's super it, proud but, uh... of them, you know, because yeah. there's so many pictures of them, but like, I don't give a fuck. So it's a project car. It is. <sighs> that looks like a nightmare. Yeah. Looks like an absolute nightmare. Good luck to whoever bought this. 5,000 bucks. One thing you have to watch out for on these cars is the paint, because a lot of the trim pieces aren't manufactured anymore. And like, there's a piece that goes around the buttresses on the back. Let me right here. There's a plastic piece that surrounds the C pillar and goes on top of the glass and it forms this whole piece. And there's a seal that goes between it and that's rubber, but it's also body colored. And like, you can't even get black ones anymore. Like nobody sells this thing anymore. Unobtainium. And it ha- yeah. So you'll notice on resprayed ones, either they don't have this or it's cracking or like the clear coat's peeling because they painted it all as one piece. They didn't take it apart. It's just shit like that that makes these like really hard to restore. Uh, and this one's got some pretty fucked up paint and the body's messed up. Yeah. Also there's a dent here. And the other thing that people do is put those, put the fucking Tom's scoops that come up. Yeah. yeah um, I bet we'll see one. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see one. And then we'll talk shit about him then. Here is a 91 MR2 Turbo Coupe 14K Reno, Nevada, 132,000 miles. Reposting for sale. Old post got deleted. 91 Toyota MR2 Turbo. Sunroof model. Wrapped blue. Oof. Original turbo chassis with a 3S GTE Gen 4 swap. E153 5-speed clean dash AC, etc, etc. That's a non-power steering model. I would not fuck that with your dick. Yeah. 132K. Koki Tails. 14K OBO. And it's wrapped. It's, this is a basket case. So it's an original turbo car, but he swapped it to a Gen 4 because he blew up his engine, I would assume. And then he wrapped it in the, like, the cool teal blue, but it's originally, I don't know, the engine bay is kind of black. No, it's going to be whatever color the door sills are. Hard to say. Nice black interior on it. Coconut little tree. Good choice. (laughs) Yeah, I, I wouldn't fuck with it. 
Not for 14K. I wouldn't fuck with one that doesn't have power steering. I certainly, at this point, would not fuck with one that doesn't have ABS. ABS was an option on the uh, second gen MR2. I would look for that option. Pretty valuable option to have. Here is a 91 Toyota MR2 Turbo Coupe, 8,500 bucks four days ago, Westlake, Ohio, testing the waters. It's an NA chassis with a, it's been swapped over to a turbo. It's got a Gen 2 block with the S54 transmission. It needs a new clutch, second gear grinds. So it needs a new transmission also or a rebuild. It has an extra 3S GT engine and an E153 non-LSD transmission to go with it. Both need rebuilt. Oof. For extra cash if the price is right and not included with the sale. It's 8500 bucks on the XXRs or 7500 bucks without. He thinks they're worth a thousand dollars. He's out of his damn mind. It's got the uh, fake Gretty side skirt on it that gives it the uh, the big single hole here, which looks pretty cool. I don't uh, know. I, I like, I like the original look better. With the line in the middle. I like the gigantic single hole without the line, but I don't like how the Gretty ones add this little extra hole down here. Maybe we'll see the side skirt I like at some point. Looks we'll say he's got a much nicer MR2 sitting over here. Yeah, he's selling the fucking the, basket case. The hood is destroyed. Yeah, it looks like someone like rolled on it. Yeah. It's gross steering wheel. That's like those fake Nismo steering yeah. wheels you see on eBay. Yeah, that's just a cheap Chinese steering wheel with a Toyota logo slapped on it. T-tops. Mine had T-tops. They leaked. That sucked. Mine had T-tops, didn't leak. It was based. I got, um, they sell these offset pins that you can put in so that it, like, pulls the, uh... Oh, like, cams it in? Yeah, and that did fix it. That was nice, but... That spoiler, you have to look out like, for that. what the fuck, is gone. Yeah. Spoiler's gone. In a deck lid. Now it looks like, it looks like those fucking motorcycle helmets, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like with the cat ears? Yeah. Yeah. This is a piece. Yeah. It's pretty rough. Here is a 90 for 20K in St. Cloud, Florida. Another thing you're going to notice is a ton of these are in Florida. I'm not exactly sure why, but Florida loves these cars. This one's 86K. Uh, this is imported. It's an MR2 GT. Clean title in his name. Has no issues at all. Looking to do a project car and don't have room for it. Pretty much stock except for the usual bolt-ons, touchscreen radio, etc., etc. So this is a right-hand drive import. Looks really nice. It's 20,000 bucks. Yeah, 86,000 miles. Yeah. But right-hand drive really seems to hurt MR2s. It's it's not worth this, frankly. Yeah. Like, if it was left-hand drive and it was in this condition, I'd totally say this is a $20,000 MR2. But nah, a right-hand drive one is going to be worth less, period, because you can buy the exact same car in America with the wheel on the correct side. Yeah. Same thing's true of uh, Mark IV Supras, and I'm sure anything else you can think of that you can import that you could have bought here in the turbo version, it's going to be the same deal. The S13s get a pass because we didn't have SRs here. Yeah, and Sylvia's. I don't care who sent this car to hell. I'm just glad it's there. Collectorcarfeed.com slash store. Limited time only. 95 MR2 Turbo Coupe, 17 grand, six days ago, Peoria, Illinois, 87,000 miles, new year, new life goals. Car runs and drives excellent, imported from Japan, I'm the first USA owner. So we got another, very similar to the last one, right-hand drive GT MR2. 17 sold. Sold it for 17k, so good for yeah. him, man. Maybe they are worth that. That's a really clean engine bay. Yeah. That looks exceptional. Got fake TEs, or excuse me, yeah, yeah, yeah fake TEs. Yeah, they're avids. Yeah. Letting you know that he put the tires on correctly. Well, I don't know, man. You need to back out and let's see where, where, what the rotation is. Yeah, he's got it on there, right? Yeah, he's got it on right. Yeah, he's fine. Some rust sticking out. It might just be dirt, but it's probably rust. These things are known, they're kind of notorious for rusting right here in this panel. And they get mice in there, too. Yeah, you can get, yeah, mine had, like, shit, pa hey, fuck off, that was in the back. <laughs> that, was, that was one of the rails. Yeah, mine had mice living in it that died on the on the drive home, and then we had to mummify them with some great stuff foam. I mean, put them in the, in the no, you had to uh, enclose the tomb. Yeah, we had to shut off the tomb because the fucking spirits were coming out every time I stepped on the gas. It was... It was horrible, dude. That smell was amazing for weeks. Yeah, you what can see some rust elsewhere on the car, and like, yeah, I, th I think he got a little bit of quarter rust there, but whatever. He sold it. Mats are cool. That's a really cool JDM mat. They always get cooler looking shit than us on the interior. Here's a 91 MR2 Turbo Coupe 15K a week ago in Renton, Washington with 86K. It is. No, this one's left hand drive. It's got a Link ECU for some reason, freshly rebuilt LSD. AC blows cold, heater blows hot. Any other questions, let me know. I got questions. Why isn't it sold yet? 
It smashed well, I mean, it. It's, well, it's, well, it's, it's been yeah, it's been banged right there. Why'd you swap it to a link? Side skirts are sus. Yeah. That's another thing. You see these side skirts and nothing else is done. Fair chance that they're covering up rust. Yeah. Um, RP, fake RPF ones are real. I think they're real. They look real. The tint on the doors is like just terrible. Yeah, it's from the it's 90s. Completely purple, doesn't match anything else. Yeah, that looks truly horrific. Um, yeah, those are real RPF ones. And it just it doesn't look like it's been taking very well. Oh, Ooh, wow. it's got hit there too. Got a little quarter panel scuff. And it's a cage. And look at the guy's shoes. That's why it hasn't sold. Crocs. He's got the Celica steering wheel in there. Yeah, and then the, um, yeah. The surround is missing. God damn, dude. I wish these people just wouldn't fuck with cars. Same. Like, what's so hard? Why do you have to fuck with the car? Toge, why do dude. You, why do you have to do this stupid shit to the car that is not going to make it faster? And, and you're just hurting yourself. Why does this have a link in it? Why isn't this just running the stock ECU? Because you put a and blow off at, valve on it. Look at that Spectre fucking. Um, <laughs> this one here. Yeah. Yeah. That that's like begging for fucking mercy. <laughs> yeah. His eBay pipe doesn't fit for shit in here, dude. Like, and I don't think those are made for fucking intercoolers either. Like a bigger side mount and hard pipes and a BOV is not going to require a standalone ECU conversion. Like what the fuck yeah. is. Yeah. Like, he, what well, turbo's on this thing? J Jimmy Oaks told him he needed it. Yeah. Sarah and Toon told him he needed it. Here is... I hate those headlights. Oh, I hate those headlights. Yeah, I don't like that either. A 91 MR2 Turbo Coupe, $20,000 in Brooklyn, New York, 110,000 miles. G uh, 91 MR2 Gen 5 Turbo Engine with dumbass headlights, a gigantic lip. The lips on these look not good they stick out really far yeah and they don't match up with anything else he's got Love the freddy's those wheels, though the wheels are cool the uh, gram lights yeah no i think those are ad vans either way i love them i don't care what they are i love it's a good I looking love those wheel, wheels yeah. yeah yeah street park does gt4 right behind it seeing a trend with that oh yeah wow it's good oh here it is, is here that, we go is that a is that a subaru gc8 wing couldn't tell you but I would guess it's some dumbass wing specifically for this car. He does also Margo have the do, snorkel. Margot, do look it up. You're talking about the um the TR not TRD the uh, oh the yeah toms, the toms the toms yeah. intake. So the, the the thing about the snorkels. Let's see who's got a like, picture of it. Yeah, I I agree. They look sick. You know. <laughs> do However, you? I think they look cool, man. Are you However, being sarcastic? No, like like the thing is about it. It's like. I can see, I can definitely see the allure of that. It's like, this is actually, this is my intake up here. You know, yeah, like, I can this, see the, the engine is like being too, but I mean, like, I get, no, I get it. I get, I can get why you would want to put that on your car. However, the MR2 is designed to take the fresh air from the side, from right behind the fucking rear door. Yeah. It's, it's feet, if you can circle it, like, r yeah, right there. That is where the MR2 is designed to intake the air, and it exits the air from the fucking vents on the on the hood. You know, the I can't rear, believe you the like rear this. engine cover. Yeah, I think it's cool, but That's... I wouldn't. I, I, but dude, I'm, this is with a huge, huge, huge caveat. That's what I'm saying. When you put that fucking vent on the car, that's not an intake. All it's doing is 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 causing turbulence in the fucking engine bay yeah. because now it's it's. It's sucking in air where it should be exiting the air. So you're, it, it's counterproductive. It doesn't do anything. It's a complete rice fucking mod. Yeah. You ever see it where they have both of them? Where they have, they have two of them? Yeah. Like it looks like Snoopy ears or something? Yeah. And, and yeah, you know, I played Forza and I played Gran Turismo also. And I saw that and, and I was like, oh, wow, that's sick. But don't run them. It's not, it's counterproductive. It doesn't do anything. It's, and on top of that, it looks horrendous. That is a terrible look. Like, man, I'm I'm really shocked that you think that looks good. No, I. <sighs> it's okay. I, I mean, I don't. I it, it's it's it's. I I don't know. I think I explained myself. Yeah, you did fine. It's all good. God, it looks bad. This one's twenty seven thousand in Frisco, Texas. It's ninety five, uh, eighty thousand miles. I hate that rear bumper. 
yeah, I don't like this. Uh, 95 MR2 GT Turbo. So again, this is an import. This is a right-hand drive. Five-speed manual transmission. Will update add with exact parts list. Car mechanically 90% stock with very minor upgrades. Clean Texas title. No rust. Clean paint. Upgraded stereo. New subs. And Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Cash only. Okay, so uh, we got the uh, the Kelly Blue Book. is $5,400 to $8,700. And this one is $27,000. So yeah, Kelly Blue Book. Done no shit about MR2s. Love those wheels. Yeah, that and looks really lights. nice. The the wing sucks. Yeah, the wings sit terrible. If you, when you look at it from the back, it looks like it has like tumors on the fucking side of it. Yeah, the straight back shot, the first one. Yeah, big old bulbs. Yeah, it's a really early two thousand. I mean, look dude, on the is this kit. is this what is this what MR2s are selling for? Like, no, this what one's still the fuck. They are up, but I mean, this one's still for sale. He'll probably get like 20-ish for it, though. I mean, they are really up. They've But motherfucker, you live in an apartment. He probably like, bought it before they went up. And the other thing is, you know, there aren't a lot of them. They're, they really did only make 20,000 of these in the U.S. There's only so many that have been imported. And I mean, Japan only had about probably 20, 30,000 themselves. Like, they probably didn't have more than us, right? So mm. it's an extremely limited supply of these things. And it's an awesome car. So I could see these being, you know, 20-ish grand. Here is a 149,000 mile MR2 Turbo Coupe, a 92. Oh, it's in Rio Rancho. In Rio Rancho, Texas, 15.5. No, New Mexico. Rio Rancho, New Mexico, excuse me. Uh, SW20 with a 3S GTE and a turbo five-speed transmission in-person cash transaction only. I have clean title in hand, 149K. Uh, it's a Southwest California slash New Mexico car with no rust. See pictures. Rocker panel foam removed by me personally and was clean with no signs of moisture. MR2 collectors will know what this is. Yeah, it's an MR2. Yeah, <laughs> no, he means the, the foam. But but yeah, looks a little paint shot, but only on the bumper, maybe. Blue interior. Blue gut. Blue gut. Elite fucking a boss elite head unit. Sheesh, dude. It's the, the, the premium boss head unit. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, every single... Here's, here's something interesting about MR2s. Not interesting, but something to know is uh, these ashtrays, they all crack. They all break. This one's broken. They just get brittle in the sun and they fall apart. No, mine was good. 20 years ago. No, it was... Um, it was like 10 years ago, I guess. But they they do. That is a thing. Um, and getting a replacement for that is not particularly easy. So if you see one in a junkyard that's in good condition, grab that, sell it on eBay. This is a gross rewrap. Yeah. And Bass what boat. the fuck is good with that triple A sticker? Why is it in, in the there? fucking sill? Yeah. Like you gotta hide it? Like like, like your, your stealth triple A? <laughs> like you don't need to show a triple A sticker to get a toe, dude. Like Yeah, it, it, it's 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 like, uh yeah, a triple A. And they just come get you. Yeah. And they don't care who you are when they show up. You can be in the car and it's your friend's car and they'll still tow you. Yeah. The wheels are bad, the avids yeah, or whatever. Fake fake TEs. This seems like a bit much, honestly. Yeah, it like maybe half of that, you know. Yeah. Under ten. You love watching us look at busted 240s, but now at collectorcarfeed.com slash cars, you can play the home game. Browse hundreds of recent 240SX listings from Facebook Marketplace without the hassle of using Facebook Marketplace. When you search collectorcarfeed.com slash cars for Facebook 240SX listings, you will only see Facebook 240SX listings. No algorithm, no Altimas, no bullshit. That's collectorcarfeed.com slash cars. Back to the video. Here is a 91 MR2 Turbo Coupe, $10,000 two weeks ago in Carthage, Missouri with 156,000 miles. Originally non-turbo five-speed manual that's now equipped with a 3S GTE engine and an E153 transmission off a 93 turbo. Mileage of engine and transmission is unknown, but it runs and drives good. Okay. Okay. Car has a slight rattle around 4,000 RPMs due to a slight exhaust leak where the exhaust pipe meets up to the muffler, but the way it drives is not affected due to this. Airbag light is on due to a previous owner removing OEM steering wheel and airbag to install a quick disconnect steering wheel. <laughs> I opted to replace with a Toyota steering wheel, but, okay, he didn't get the, but he didn't get the airbag light fixed. Kind of odd. You know, this looked really bad at first, but now it's looking better. The, fo the, the shadows are kind of funny looking. But yeah. <laughs> that's a... Uh, like, that dude is pissed that that girls go for guys like that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. The tan seats are whack. Yeah. The paint's kind of shot on it. Like, there's a couple little... Like, it doesn't squirt. even have the engine. What? <laughs> 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 Shut up. <laughs> Fun fact about the MR2 Turbo, it has a trunk. Um, he's got the uh, Celica wheel in it as well. 
this this panel looks really bad. Yeah, it's, it's uh, very hazy. There's looks like there's a there's a sl- cut, a vertical cut. Yeah. No, 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 no. Go, go, oh, go to the here? trim. Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, and there's like a. This is either rust or a run or something here. This looks like it's been resprayed very poorly. Um, but yeah, this and this are really concerning. And it's not. Oh, it is turbo. It yeah, it's it, but it's a, it's a swapped in a. Oh, but then you okay. back out of it because because I saw the cluster and the the boost gauge was the voltmeter. Oh yeah. All right. So tells for a turbo interior. This is a boost gauge. Um, on the outside, everything except for early 91s will have fog lights if it's a turbo, but the fog lights were an option on the NA. Um, this body line will be black on NAs. And on some turbos, I think, actually, early, early, like like 91, 92, maybe, it was an option to have that body matched. And then like 93, 95, they're all body matched, I believe. I could no, be wrong about that. they're gray. It'll be gray. Yeah. It'll be either gray or body matched. Yeah, um, or that silver. red one. It was like a like it was like a darker red instead of being black or or the same color red. It was just like a really like a maroon on a bright red Be- car. Because my my white one was was silver. Yeah, yeah. The white ones have that silver line. It's got ninety three through ninety five wheels on it. Yeah, I love those wheels. They look really good. Yeah, it's missing some center caps. Ten k is a it's a little much for this basket case, yeah. especially with those body issues. But. That might not be so bad. Go take a look at it if you're in if you're in or around Carthage, Missouri. This one looks a lot nicer. Here's a '93 MR2 Turbo Coupe for 12k in Mill Creek, Washington, with 120,000 miles. Not looking for trades. Clean title. Engine swap from a '91 after motor failure two owners ago. Interior in excellent condition. Working power steering. Blah blah blah. Doesn't have a radio, AC, or trip odometer. The odometer reads 60,000 due to a swap, but last owner reported 120k on the chassis. Signs of minor Bondo work on roof. So, true mileage unknown. First off. Bondo work on the roof. There's, There's not no much roof. of a roof, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably on the, like, right behind the T-tops would be my guess. Sold, 92 Toyota MR2 Turbo Coupe, one, two, three, four dollars two weeks ago in Chandler, Arizona. The real price was 13 k Message for details, fake TEs. Ugh. <laughs> Hard pipes wrapped in fucking heat reflective the gold, tape. The gold DEI tape. Yeah. I don't mind that. You know, it doesn't aesthetically it's not the most pleasing, but I kind of get uh, it. Yeah, I get it. You know, you're trying to uh, get the most in quotes, you know, out of the out of the shit. It looks That's period fine. correct too, I'm not, honestly. I'm not mad about it. It's not I my don't favorite, think I would but do it. I'm not heated about it, but uh I would take that off personally. Or I wouldn't fuck with it if I bought this car actually. Just leave yeah, it just alone. Yeah, leave it. Yeah. Engine bay is such a nightmare to work on. Got a little motorcycle, got some dorky ass anime sticker there. It's like ne- ne- Don't Nezuko. Say it. Don't say Okay. <laughs> he, uh, he, needs to go, he needs to go over to uh, collectorcarfeed.com slash store, get himself an Asuka sipping coffee sticker if he's yeah. such an anime fan. Um, it looks good, aside from the wheels. Yeah, but who knows what he sold it for. Yeah, probably got OBO on it. Probably got like 10, 11. Oh, he says they're at 13K. OBO. Yeah, I'm fucked, dude. That's what they're worth. Yeah, I sold mine for like 7,500 bucks. I crashed mine for about 7500 bucks. <laughs> After arguing with the insurance for months, I finally got <laughs> got back my whatever I paid for it, plus whatever I put into the tires. Came out all right, but uh, the cars did increase in value in the time I owned it, and I did not get the new value of the car out of it. I just got my money back, which, whatever. All stock 92 Toyota MR2 Turbo hardtop with moonroof. Desirable five-speed manual, rare combination. 92 MR2 Turbo Coupe 13K three weeks ago, San Ramon. This one did sell. Is this a factory turbo sunroof? This yeah. is cool. Nice. Well, well, it has a black line. No, it's got the um it's got the it's it's a really dark red. This is what mine look like too. It's it's not black, it's it's like a really dark maroon red. Okay, yeah, I see it. Yeah, factory turbo, got the the right gauge cluster, 134k on the on the clock there. This looks good, man. With the sunroof, sunroof's a rare option. I would yeah, rather have a hard top, rare. but the sunroof on I these guess, is I guess, tiny. I guess for 13, I would take this one over that other one. Yeah, this looks nice. Looks like he hit something. There's a line right or above the license plate. something hit him. Yeah, what the fuck hit him? Bit, Those, this a little thin. bit of nut, you know? Oh, just bird shit, maybe. Bird oh, cum. yeah, yeah, it could be bird shit. Oh, you want, you want dude, you want to fucking freak your mind out? Yeah. Look at the face on the rear window. What? Okay, look, look, look. I'll come, yeah, right up. Go up. Eye, up. eye, mouth. 
N- above that, I I mouth. Oh, I I mouth and like a nose. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. I, yes. I, I see two faces here, dude. I, just, yeah, I see two samurai trippy. warriors. That's weird. Well, they're looking over this car. Here is a '91 Toyota MR2 Turbo Coupe, one two three four five dollars. Gen three, three SGTE swap, around ninety k on the engine. Clean title. I don't plan on letting it go. Blah blah blah. Nineteen thousand dollars in cash or trades. I won't respond. Is this available? He wants nineteen thousand bucks, and he did sell it. Got two pictures of it. It's on some heinous ass wheels. I uh, yeah, gr- those are fine. Yeah, these NKs are those, fine. Yeah, the other ones these are, are sick. Yeah, gross. He's, really gross yeah well it's gone and there's no information in two pictures so moving on it was purple this is probably resprayed purple i don't think there was well there was a factory purple but i don't think that we got it in the u.s factory 91 mr2 turbo with moonroof clean title in hand tons done to the car will provide list upon request runs great ac working perfectly but the amplifier failed in the process of gain it re- fixed the Price amplifier a, on yeah, the, the ac the, the ac amplifier <laughs> i don't know what that means it's got a celica steering wheel it's got some gauges it's got a wide band on there it's got a really dirty engine it's got an upgraded intercooler hard pipes he wants eleven thousand bucks for it paint looks pretty flat like it doesn't look like it's either original or it doesn't look like it's like well it the, like thing, it's the thing something. about the thing about red and white of this era Toyota was that it was single stage. Mm-hmm. So you could cut that, you could cut the paint and, and make it look brand fucking new again. This is urethane? No, no, no. Single stage. Yeah, yeah. Single stage. Uh, so there was no, you, you, isn't, it, 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 is, isn't single stage paint urethane? Yeah, maybe, sure. I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure actually, but yeah, what I, I get what you're saying. There's no clear. Yeah, yeah. So, so you buff it and, and it's like brand fucking new again. Huh. Well, this needs it. This is like yeah. Dick. It's a sunroof model based. Yeah. Uh, but we've seen better for f- comparable price. Yeah. Price is negotiable, though. Talk them down. Get this for 8500 bucks, maybe? If it runs great, if it's not smoking, if it has good compression, this might be a really good deal. And it's been sitting for a while, so he might be willing to work yeah. on that price a little yeah. bit. Miles are a little high, but yeah, it's a rare car. This one's sold. 15.5, 159K, black, with wow. Z30, Z32 wheels. On, like, snow tires? Like, what the... On yeah. non-matching tires, like what the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah, that looks like a goddamn like a crocodile or something. <laughs> looks like a yeah, like a gator back, um, G- gator back belt. <laughs> yeah, like, like the good backside your, of a gator, gator back. back. Belt. Yeah. yeah, I think they changed the name of them, but but yeah, those because it was <laughs> racist. <laughs> it's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they were like cross hatched is my point. But but yeah, the yeah. non matching tires. That's not a good move. Engine base. Not nice. a good look. No. Uh, this is in Mission Viejo, California. Smogged, passed with ease. Upload the first smog check I got two years ago, as well as the one I got today on January 3rd, 2023. The price went up and will continue to do so. But he sold it. Every day it's gonna go higher. <laughs> yeah. Like Every day you don't hostage. buy my MR2, <laughs> it will go up by one thousand dollars. <laughs> Sunroof, 159, sold for 155 ish Paint shot. May not shot, but it needs a buff. This looks... But like, 160K, dude? Yeah, for 15. 15K? Like... If it's in good... I mean, if it's in good condition and running, has everything on but it... But, dude, you there's better buys out there, and we've seen them. Yeah. Maybe not in California, though. And also, it is a rare sunroof. Not that that really matters yeah. that much, but I really would prefer anything other than T-tops if I bought another one of these. No, man. Not, not, I, I like the T-tops. I didn't like taking them off and driving it because, like, the air, like, they're, they're just, they're poorly designed. Like, when you go over, like, 50 miles an hour, you're just, you're getting fucking I didn't, hammered with air. I didn't, I didn't feel air. that. No, I didn't feel that. Did your little spring things pop up still? Yeah, the little deflector things. Yeah. It wasn't really so much that it was coming in through the T-tops, but like with the windows down, like air would hit the B-pillar and just fucking jam right into my ear. I remember one time I had to get a weed eater and um, and I was in the MR2 and like I took one T-top off on the passenger <laughs> side and the weed eater was like sticking all the way out the top Hell and yeah. I tried to race a Viper. I didn't want to race though. <laughs> I think I would have beat the Viper. He couldn't be seen racing a dude on his way to cut grass. Yeah. <laughs> well, this guy sold it for around fifteen five, so good for him. Um, yeah, man, they're they're up. These these cars have gone up. 
Yeah, so, this one has what the super fuck? tails. It looks like an MX6. Oh, this is a video too. No, oh, dude. My God, it looks like I'm, an MX6, dude. It does. Yeah, that is awful, dude. Dude, my oh Jesus, this sucks, dude. Yeah, and he wants fourteen thousand. He thinks he's going to get as much as the last one we saw. Like, yeah, your mind, man. You'd be lucky to get 10 with this fucking stupid shit. Yeah, that's disgusting. Nobody Cloud. wants this on Earth. This shit went out of style in like 2008, you know? Like Super Street Magazine might have put you in there not on the cover with this kind of shit, you know? But like, nobody on the planet thinks that's cool now. It's just, God, imagine trying to fix this. Yeah, it's it looks terrible. Look how the and it's, um, it's, it's the not even executed cut. well. Oh yeah. yeah, that's awful. That's that's really terrible. Good luck with sale. If you're looking for an MR2 Turbo, do yourself a favor and head over to collectorcarfeed.com slash cars, where you'll find our Facebook Marketplace aggregator that we use today to find all these examples. We take the hassle out of using Facebook Marketplace. If you want merch, including a new KYS metal bottle opener coming soon, check out collectorcarfeed.com slash store. For bonus content, click through in description to patreon.com slash collectorcarfeed, or just click whatever's on your screen right now to keep watching collector car feed your virtual car friends now with over 11,300 subscribers goodbye